Hi guys, my name is Ali. And I'm Liv. Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> we are reporting live from Brest, France. This is where we're ported in the meantime. We're currently working for Royal Caribbean right now and the ship is going through a dry dock so they're fixing up basically the whole thing. They're getting it from the inside out, trying to make it all nice. Um, but in the meantime, we're here. She's been here for three weeks. Yep, and I've been here for a week. Most of it has been in quarantine. But um, today is my first official day off, so we're gonna be showing you some of the best things to do in Brest. Um, there, it seems to be kind of a small, quaint town, not too much to do, but this morning we went to go look for crepes because this is, Brest is the birthplace of crepes, of the crepe. Uh huh. Crepes. Yep, crepes. Now there's seagulls trying to attack. <laughs> They've attacked me before. These ones are like this big. I'm scarred for life. Maybe we're like standing on track. They smell like cookies and there's pizza there. Ooh. Anyway. <laughs> um, Crepe Place was closed, so we're gonna be going back later in the day to get some, probably around seven. It's in three hours, We've got some time to kill. In the meantime, we're gonna be going and exploring this area. There's a really cool street that I looked up and it's one of the only older streets that wasn't destroyed during World War II. So we're gonna go check that out. And then we have to go get her a SIM card. Yes, so mm -hmm. I can talk to my family. <laughs> yes, yeah, service is not good on the boat. So while ported, it is nice to have like a SIM card or some sort of like international yeah. data plan of sorts. But we're gonna mostly be in Europe, so. Okay, well, let's go. Woo! <laughs> Is this a girl show? Learning new things. What'd you learn? How to take pictures. Yay! And how to be a model, because I'm not good at that. <laughs> oh, she's a star. A uh, star. A star. We just left Daddy Raymond Novion. Ooh. I have no idea how to pronounce that. Let me try. Jordi. Raymond Novion. <laughs> okay, so we just left. Oh, I can't even remember Medieval it. times. It was really cool to visit. There's a lot of history there, but there was a field trip. Yeah! There's a field trip going on. So we um, saw some school children, which was really fun to see them <laughs> distracted, <laughs> learning about this place. Smiling. But now it is time to get a Orange. SIM card. Yeah, she needs a SIM card. And then after that, we're gonna go get crepes. 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 Four point eight stars on Google. Let's see how she is. Good. Really good. Yay! Let's try it. <laughs> right? <laughs> Mm. 
good. And your rating is out of five. A five? We'll give it a five. <laughs> okay. It's good. <laughs> so that was a little summary of my day in Brest. At this point in my contract, it was my very first time off the ship to spend a whole day just exploring. It was just a nice quaint way to start my cruise life journey. Of course, we tried to go to as many places as we could, but given our time constraints, that definitely was not quite feasible. So in this next part, I'm gonna be talking to you guys a little bit more about the places that we did go to and explaining a little bit more about them, as well as some places that we missed out on that you should definitely check out if you find yourself in Brest. I apologize in advance if I mispronounce things because I probably will. So first things first for me was finding a crepe if you are unfamiliar. Crepe originated in Brittany, France and Brest is in the province of Brittany. Finding a place that had good reviewed crepes was definitely high on my list. But there was one location that I really wanted to go to but this area is more local and they're very strict on the times that they're open so we didn't quite make it there on time so we went to the next best one and the crepes were incredible. Incredible. This was my first time having crepes in a really long time in general, so chef's kiss, it was incredible. I think mine had chocolate, bananas, caramel, and whipped cream. The next thing I really wanted to see was visit Rue Saint Malo. Uh, again, I apologize about the pronunciation. This is the oldest medieval street in Brest, and it was something I was really wanting to see. This whole area was heavily bombed during World War II, so most of Brest is very new and has had to come up since then, but that is the one street that has kind of survived everything. So I was really interested to see it and just kind of see what kind of energy that place held. Um, there wasn't too many details, or at least none in English, that I could decipher, and there's also not a lot of information about it that I could find easily on the internet. It was still a really cool place to walk around, just kind of seeing what the environment was like. It is also not too touristy, so we almost had the whole place to ourselves, which kind of had like an eerie feeling, but also it was just <laughs> really cool to check out. Another place that looked fun to visit and that was also very close to the port is Oceanopolis. Oceanopolis is the biggest aquarium in France, so I didn't actually get to go check it out, but I had a friend that went to go check it out and they said it was amazing. So definitely would recommend if you are a lover of aquariums. The next thing that I did get to see from the outside but didn't actually get to thoroughly explore was Chateau de Brest. It's an old medieval castle that served as a fortress in Brest during World War II. However, this fortress did remain standing and now it's newly renovated and then there's some areas that have like the Maritime Museum and you can explore and see some of the history of the area. One of the last things that I really wanted to do was just explore Brittany in general. It seems like there's just so much to do in the area. There's a lot of nature and beaches and islands and landscape. There's a peninsula that's south of Brest that I really wanted to visit. Unfortunately, that wasn't really in the cards for this trip. As crew members, we were not allowed to leave the city limits of Brest and I just felt like it was a little too far for comfort just because we had to make it back on the ship. So didn't actually make it there, but the pictures that I saw online were incredible. So if you are in the area, I would definitely recommend it. I saw a lot of great reviews online and it looks stunning. Like I mentioned before, Brest is definitely a very quaint town. It is not super touristy, which in my opinion is something that makes it a little bit more magical. Um, as much as I love visiting iconic touristy places, seeing some places that are just local and have rich history is also an incredible experience. So if you're in the area, if you're in Brittany or just exploring France, I would definitely recommend checking out Brest and seeing the local things to do. All right, that just about sums up everything for this video. If you've stuck around until the end, thank you for watching. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Your support is very much appreciated. And let me know if you guys have any questions. Leave them in the comment box below. If you have any questions about being a crew member or a dry dock or exploring Brest, I'm happy to answer any questions that you guys might have. I hope you enjoyed learning about Brest, France, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.